Reliance Industries conducted its 45th annual general meeting today, led by Mukesh Ambani, the billionaire chairman and managing director of the oil telco retail conglomerate. In the AGM, Ambani has unveiled its plan for 5G, FMCG business and the roadmap for its new energy manufacturing business as the conglomerate aims to turn net carbon zero by 2035. Here are some of those comments first. To build our pan-India true 5G network, we have committed a total investment of 2 lakh crore rupees. Geo has prepared an ambitious and the fastest ever 5G rollout plan for a country of our size. Within the next two months, that is by Diwali of 2022, we will launch Geo 5G across multiple key cities, including the metro cities of Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, and Calcutta. Subsequently, we plan to increase the Geo 5G footprint month after month until by December of 2023, which is less than 18 months from today, to deliver Geo 5G to every town, every taluka, and every tehsil of our country. With an eye on becoming more robust and resilient, Mukesh Amani expects the company to more than double its value by the end of 2027. Listen in. My existing team of leaders and I, along with our board of directors, shall dedicate ourselves to making the institutional culture of reliance more robust, more resilient, more purpose-driven, and truly future-ready. And so that in the near term, reliance more than doubles its value by the end of its golden decade in 2027 and thereafter continues to grow ever more rapidly. Reliance Retail all set to foray into the FMCG segment. Here out Reliance Retail's director, Isha Ambani. This year, we will launch our fast-moving consumer goods business. The objective of this business is to develop and deliver products that solve every Indian's daily needs with high-quality products at affordable pricing. As part of our commitment to India's rich culture and heritage, we will soon start marketing quality goods produced by tribals and other marginalized communities across India. This will not only provide these communities with gainful opportunities for employment and entrepreneurship, but also help preserve the incredibly rich talent, skill sets, and knowledge base of our traditional Indian artisans especially women. The oil to chemical conglomerate is all set to invest 75,000 crore rupees in petchem expansion. Here's the chairman Mukesh Amani on this. Over the next five years, we will invest rupees 75,000 crores and expand capacities in existing and new value chains. First, in the polyester value chain, we will build one of the world's largest single train PTA plant of 3 million tons per annum capacity at the H. We will also invest in 1 million ton a year PET plant at the H. Both PTA and PET will be targeted for completion by 2026. We will also reinvest in polyester filament yarn and polyester staple fiber. Polyester expansion with a capacity of over 1 million tons will be completed in phases by 2026. Bukesh Ambani laid down his succession plans at the AGM, saying all three children will be leading businesses at his conglomerate, outlining the leadership transition that's already underway at Reliance Industries. We are creating an operating model for all our businesses that will create value in perpetuity. Dear shareholders, at a time when a bright future is beckoning Reliance, what gives me optimism about ability to realize our dreams is our huge reservoir of young, dynamic, and best-in-class talent. Our next generation leaders are taking over the reins confidently across businesses, verticals, and horizontals. Akash and Isha have assumed leadership roles in geo and retail. They have been passionately involved in our consumer business since its inception. Anand has also joined in our new energy business with great zeal. In fact, he is spending most of his time in Jamnagar. Video pasand aaya, to hume like, comment, share, aur subscribe zarur karein.